Hi, welcome to part two of my Mykonos vlog. We're starting with our hotel breakfast at the Myconian Ambassador, and then it's gonna be a boat day today. So we're gonna be on a catamaran with a couple of other people. And this next clip you can see is us getting a little tiny boat over to the actual catamaran, which is the boat in the middle there. We got taken over in groups of seven and there were some lovely Americans with us. Welcome everyone, good morning. Good morning. If you book a boat semi-private, you will be on with a group of people. We had about 20 of us on this boat and it works out so much cheaper. So it's a great way to spend a day on a boat. Come on, time wasted. My brother thought it would be a good idea to jump off the boat from this angle, which is pretty slippy. All right, dry your feet up. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is my first Greek island I've ever visited. I've only ever visited Athens. So the water is just mind blowing to me. I can't believe how clear it is. It makes me realize that if you live in the UK, you really don't need to go long haul to find beaches and water like this. The boys had a good swim and snorkel, but we both had extensions in. So we decided to stay out of the water because it wasn't worth discoloring or drying out our hair. My brother then decided to see if he could touch the bottom, so we dove down to the bottom. As you can see, he gets bored easily. After the boat trip, we went home for a nap, got ready, and now we're just going into Mykonos town to see the windmills for the first time. And there are some huge cruise ships. So we went in September, um, it's very, very busy in the height of summer, so we thought this was the best time to come. It's apparently a little less windier as well, but let me tell you, it was still absolutely heaving in the tiny streets. Once we get a little bit deeper, you'll see how many people are actually around. I could not have come in July or June. It's also quite dangerous on the roads, there's no pavements and the traffic just appears from nowhere and they will not slow down for you. <laughs> there's little Venice to your right. I felt a little bit like I had heat stroke this night. I think we'd all had a bit too much sun on the boat and I just couldn't muster up the energy to talk you through this while I was there. So I asked my husband to do it and for once he obliged. So we're all here. In Mykonos, we've come down to see the windmills. Here they are. And these were built in the 16th century by the Venetians, but their construction continued until the 20th century. Everyone is knackered because I've had too much sun, but I've had a Red Bull and a coffee. Here it is, famous Pedros. I was ecstatic when we caught a glimpse of Pedros the Pelican. He is the famous pelican around here. He just strolls around eating things from the restaurants and cafes. And I didn't think we'd spot him, but we did. Yay! Mykonos is known for its beautiful sunsets. So we walked along Little Venice to find a place where we could sit. But it is extremely busy along this strip because obviously it's the best place to view one. Morning. What was that, Kim? Do not bother bringing wedges. Absolute joke. <laughs> I'm gonna break my ankle. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> cobbly, uneven. I've got sliders on, uneven. I'm struggling. A great tip is to check upstairs in the Little Venice restaurants. Nobody realizes that there is space upstairs, and it's a little secret hideout. However, we had to wait ages for a drink, but we had already watched the sunset when we'd ordered our drinks and they came back and said, you've actually not spent enough because you're only buying soft drinks, so you're going to have to sit at the table behind you. So we just left. <laughs> I thought that was quite rude on their part, considering nobody was sat upstairs, but we had a reservation anyway to get to, so it worked out for us. I don't know the name of that restaurant, so I couldn't tell you which one it was. Next, we had a wander around because we hadn't seen the streets before. And wow, look at the beautiful floor in Mykonos. It's all painted. I cannot imagine how much white paint they go through on this island. It's cool, isn't it? Ace. Hey. I like that building. That's cute. I'm going to say, maybe we'll go 
We loved the look of that pasta restaurant so much that we changed our reservation for one of the nights to go there. You will see a lot of stray cats on this island. They are everywhere and they're so cute. Just in an art gallery. Look at all the After a spot of browsing, we went to a Koya restaurant, which I forgot to film, but I'll put some pictures in. It's basically a gorgeous dining area under the trees. And Koya say they are Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese influenced. So we had guacamole, corn, bao buns, lots of chicken skewers, and they're all small sharing plates. So although pricey, I think it's worth the experience. We then made our way to the Leo show, which is supposed to be amazing. I've heard great things. However, it's extremely expensive. It's a show and a dinner that you have to spend 200 euros each minimum spend, which is obviously crazy. So we decided to pay 50 euros each just for one ticket and a drink included each. Just be mindful we'd asked for this deal on the door. The show starts with the cast in the audience and this lady was just singing in a customer's ear, which we found hilarious. <laughs> can't put the latter part of the show on because it was extremely raunchy to the point where we questioned what we would came to see <laughs> but we still enjoyed it the only letdown was that the staff didn't really care about us because we weren't eating and the cast were kind of told not to focus on people that just had drinks so that was a bit of a letdown <laughs> Good morning guys. This morning we just had breakfast and we're going to a place called Super Paradise Beach Club. This is very chilled in the day, sort of house music vibes and at night it does kick off into quite a party. And we haven't been to a beach club yet, we've just been by the pool, we've been at Scorpio's for dinner but we've not actually sunbathed at a beach club. I think all of the beaches around here are taken up by beach clubs so you do have to pay for a sunbed or sit at the bar and have a drink so we've paid for four sunbeds uh, so we're going to do that have a look around the shops i'm hoping to there's a sephora in mykonos can you believe it so i really like to go to sephora there's a few designer shops around here as well um, i know kim wants a new bag and i'm just looking at this view on the balcony and it's actually really hard to look out because all of the buildings are white and the glare from the white buildings makes you like really squint i'm just looking out onto the ports the boats are absolutely gorgeous the weather's really perfect because i was really worried about it being too windy which is meant to be notorious for it's called the windy island but apparently if you come in september these few weeks here it's the perfect time because the wind drops off it's um, the end of the season but there's still enough people here to have an atmosphere because apparently in the summer it gets really really overcrowded tonight we are at a place called meeting um, m dash eating and it's supposed to be really traditional greek food even though i don't really like greek food i'm gonna try my best to find something oh i just want to mention about the hotel An amazing hotel it was just the night before last it was a saturday night and the corridors are so echoey and um, i was awake all night listening to every single person that came in the door because even if they were on the bottom floor you could hear them because of the echo um, there were people screaming, there were lads fighting. It was literally like I was on an all-inclusive IB the holiday. It was crazy. I couldn't sleep, had a horrible night's sleep. And then we had a call from reception, which sounded like a fire alarm. The phone in here sounds like a fire alarm. So we were like, oh my God, you're joking. We answered it and they were like, hi, I'm just checking that you are going to make your transfer downstairs, like your taxi's here for your flight. We were like, we've just arrived. So we were not happy about that. Joe complained about that the next morning and they just said that they were sorry. Um, but yeah, those are the two things 
that we really weren't impressed with in this hotel but last night it didn't hear any noise whatsoever i think it just was because it was a saturday night and everybody was partying but, i mean it is a party island so i was dreading it happening again thinking what if it happens every night but we were okay but apart from that stunning hotel beautiful food great service to see our day at super paradise beach stay tuned for next friday's vlog see you soon guys bye